Hey everyone, welcome to the news in tech, gaming, and entertainment that interests us. This week, I have uh, two exciting de developments in store for you. One is this. And the other two are... <laughs> Uh, firstly, Xbox Design Lab has released new colors for the controllers. Uh, you can now customize your Elite Series 2 and standard Xbox wireless controllers with even more audacious colors to stick out at your next LAN party. Assuming that you already don't have a scuff with anime girls on the back and, you know, gold sticks. Um, the uh, headline colors are Vivid Red, Powder Blue, and Neon Pink. With more than 16 accent colors to choose from, you can personalize your controller to suit your style. It's like the controller is an extension of your personality, similar to the hentai or anime girls, but maybe a little bit better than that, and maybe more appropriate for people to be. <laughs> uh, but wait, there's more. Have you heard of the Razer Edge 5G tablet? Because that's not a very good name, and I hadn't heard of it until writing this but it's essentially you know a, a mobile gaming pc that obviously runs on androids on android and uh it's pretty much a game changer for those of you in the mobile gaming world who find that enough is uh, actually not enough um it gives you access to actual high speed uh gaming on the go as uh it has 5g you'd never guess it based on the name but it does um, it gives you access to Verizon's 5G network, assuming that you are near enough to a 5G tower, and you also have been blessed in some way by someone of a higher. A quick rundown of the specs are a 2400 by 1080 AMOLED um, 144Hz screen. Uh, it has 8 gigs, of, 8 gigs of LPDDR5 RAM, and it uh, has uh, the capabilities to be your your next emulator. You can get totally caught up in it and forget your worldly woes anywhere you are and anywhere you could ever be, pretty much. And if you're worried about battery life, don't be, because they say don't. And, you know, that's... Take their word for it. Uh, but it does have the newest um, and first dedicated gaming chipset from Snapdragon, the G3X. Um, with active cooling capabilities to keep the device running smoother and for longer, Razer says. And uh, as an owner of the ROG Phone 5S myself, um, this probably isn't the device for me. It's probably not my next big upgrade. But for anyone who doesn't already have a gaming phone and hasn't made that real choice about what's important in their life, uh, a gaming tablet with inclu included controls and 5G is probably the best you're going to find other than that. And it doesn't have phone capabilities, so people can't bother you. But okay. Uh, I'm going to talk today about Dark and Darker, one of my personal favorite games by Iron Mace. It's a adjacent to D&D &D game where you're a dungeon crawl, roguelike, if you die, restart game. And you fight all the other people in the dungeon along with the various monsters. They just came out with their fifth playtest, releasing a new dungeon, new monsters, a new class, some new resting mechanics, and overall just tweak the game for the better. Even though they're doing all this stuff with Nexcon. And getting sued and doing all that they still released something and it was not as bad as I thought it was gonna be it not a lot of bugs there are some but other than that the game has been pretty fun to play uh, still no matchmaking if you play alone it's very rough and weighing on your soul but if you get a team of three it becomes easier and you progress much faster but 
I personally think it's going to be a very good game once they get over all this getting sued and dealing with all the other stuff. If they can just focus on the game, it'll be one of the best games, I believe. This week in indie games, Monster Energy has taken on another victim. This time, Glowstick Entertainment's Dark Deception Monsters and Mortals. The Dream Giant is claiming that the game's title infringes on their copyright, and they want the word monster removed from it. They also won't let Glowstick Entertainment use green and white logos on the black background. Vincent Livings, the founder of Glowstick Entertainment, is not taking this lying down. He took to Twitter to air his grievances against Monster Energy and has encouraged gamers to boycott their products. If you're looking for an alternative to Monster, we actually recommend Rogue Energy. You can use code KILLJOY to save some money. Full transparency, we are affiliates, but we do enjoy their products. In happier news, Lo-Fi Girl, the popular YouTube channel known for its relaxing music streams, has introduced a new friend. Meet Synthwave Boy, the latest addition to the Lo-Fi universe. Fans were initially intrigued by a mysterious blue light blinking in the background of Lo-Fi Girl's stream, and the channel was teasing uh, on Twitter a new character. Finally, after days of anticipation, Synthboy was revealed, sitting at his desk with an adorable puppy and sipping from a mug to the sound of Synthboy music. Now fans can enjoy not one, but two streams and two cute pets napping while they relax, study, chill, or game. Congrats, Lo-Fi Girl and Synthboy Boy. Hey guys, I wanted to hop back on real quick and add that we played a new indie game this week. Um, we'll have a whole gameplay up on it, but it's called Dead Pets Unleash, and we really enjoyed it, so I wanted to include it in uh, the segment this week. Um, you play as a demon called Gordy, who's in a band, and she is 30, and navigating her life, as most 30-year-olds do, um, kind of unmotivated. Um, there's a lot of fun mini games, and um, we just played the demo, but uh, I found it extremely fun, and it's by a feminist uh, indie game company. Um, I found them on TikTok, so I'll link that below, and I recommend you check out the game on Steam.